This video is based on a webinar that we conducted today in regards to petroleum applications for RockWorks 16. We'll begin by describing the free Earth Apps collection of about 70 programs that create diagrams within Google Earth. Next, we'll briefly touch on the utilities. From there, we'll show some of the 2D and 3D strip log and section capabilities and finish off with 3D modeling, slicing, dicing, and volumetrics. The free Earth apps represent a collection of programs that work in conjunction with the Google Earth program, which is also free. I'll show examples depicting how to display sections, leases, well locations, and raster logs. Here's our welcome screen that explains the various flavors of RockWorks. Bear in mind that you can download this product from our website and try out every level for two weeks with your own data. There's no screening, approval, or prepayment mumbo-jumbo involved with the trial download, so don't be bashful. I'll click on the Earth Apps menu to show you some of the menu options. As you can see, we have programs for plotting points, lines, polygons, and so on within Google Earth. I'll start by selecting the Earth Apps Polygons Public Land Survey Program. For those of you working outside the U.S., now would be a good time to check your email. In this program, we select the extents of the PLS grid and click on the Process button. After a few seconds, we'll see the grid displayed within Google Earth. I'll create a folder group within Google Earth titled Dolan Ranch and slide this layer into it. Now, I'll describe this data sheet below the menu bar. We can either type data directly into it, paste information from other programs using the Windows clipboard, or import data by selecting the File Import option. The most commonly used imports include Excel and ASCII text. I've already prepared a sample file titled Earth Apps Mineral Ownership 01.rwdat that I'll load into the datasheet. This file contains the legal descriptions, colors, and so on for my ownership map. I'll now select the Polygons Leases Advanced option, designate which columns contain what, and adjust the colors, line types, and so on. I press the Process button, wait a few seconds, and now I've got a lease map plotted on top of my section map. I'll move this to the Dolan Ranch folder and switch back to RockWorks. Now, I'll load another file called Earth Apps Well Locations into the datasheet. This file contains well location coordinates, well symbols, and some other information. I'll select the Points, Icons, Advanced option and set the columns, colors, etc. and click on the Process button. Now I'll see the well symbols within my Google Earth display. I'll switch back to RockWorks and load a file called Earth Apps Raster Logs. By the way, using RockWorks and Google Earth with two screens is much better than this single screen hassle. This file contains a list of raster logs and their corresponding location coordinates. I'll select the images vertical based on single midpoint option check the column settings, and press the Process button. Now, I'm seeing some e-logs displayed as vertical panels. I'll drag this into the Dolan Ranch folder, right-click on that folder, and select the Email option from within the pop-up menu. This will open your email program and attach the Google Earth KML file along with some Google promotional materials that you might want to delete or edit. I'll send this to Molly, who can then view this file within her copy of Google Earth. There are lots of other programs here, but it's time to move on to the utilities. This collection of programs uses the same data sheet as the Earth apps, along with the same import capabilities. I'm going to load a sample file called Utilities Formations. Each well is represented by a row and the columns contain structural elevations 
for my stratigraphic contacts. I'll run the map grid-based map program. It's the same idea where you select the columns that you're interested in, adjust the various options such as gridding methods, line colors, and so on, and press the process key. The RockWorks 2D and 3D display windows include an option for exporting this information to Google Earth as well. In this example, I'll drape this map that I just created over the ground surface. Voila! There are dozens of other utility programs for creating maps, block models, volumetric computations, fracture analysis, and so on, but I'll skip them so that we can keep this presentation down to 15 minutes. Level 3 is for people who are just plotting strip logs and linear stratigraphic correlations. These programs use a relational database, unlike the simple flat file data sheets used by the Earth apps and the utilities. One of the most useful capabilities of RockWorks for today's unconventional plays is the ability to manage horizontal or lateral borehole information. This is accomplished by populating the downhole survey table that accompanies each borehole. Raster logs or bitmaps may also be added to the database and used interactively to pick contacts and correlate stratigraphy. As with the datasheet, the Borehole Manager includes a variety of importers including IHS, KGS or Kansas Geological Survey, and LAS or Log ASCII Standard. The data layout consists of a list of boreholes, data types, and the actual data. For example, if I click on a borehole and a data type such as stratigraphy, the data shows up in this window here on the right. To create a cross-section of logs with linear stratigraphic correlations, we click on the Strip Logs Two-Dimensional Section option. Next, we define what we want to include within the section logs, which holes to include within the section, and press the process button. After a few seconds, we'll see a simple well-to-well -well cross section. The correlated stratigraphy between the logs is based on a simple straight line method without any modeling. Three-dimensional fence diagrams work in a similar fashion. We define the strip log layout, define pairs of points for the fence panels, and press the process button. After a few more seconds, we'll have a 3D fence diagram. With level four, we're now up to $3,000. This suite of programs provides the ability to produce structure and isopac maps, block models, and cross sections based on numerical models that in turn are based on the borehole data. By way of example, we'll start by creating an isopack. The top and base of the isopack may be based on any combination of contacts, in this case, the top of the Niobrara and the base of the Codell sandstone. Individual items within the 3D viewer, such as boreholes, the isopack, and the reference planes, may be turned on and off. The stratigraphic model program is simply an automated way of generating 3D isopacks for all of the units within the database. Notice how we can peel off selective layers to gain a three-dimensional understanding of the relative stratigraphic relationships. Also, notice how the volume and mass for each unit is shown within the 3D viewer's data tree. Creating cross-sections is a bit easier than the simple hole-to-hole -hole sections. Specifically, the vertices need not correspond to well locations because the section is created by slicing through continuous interpolated grid models. As a consequence, the sections are more aesthetically pleasing and geologically realistic. The same approach applies to three-dimensional fence diagrams. This allows us to create fences in which the panels are parallel and or perpendicular to each other. As with the Earth apps and the utilities, 
The Borehole Manager includes dozens of other programs, some of which are covered in other webinars and videos. So have a look at our YouTube page or give us a call. Thanks for watching.